All right, X, this is DJ Rem, and I have Dave the Demon Christ from the band Dying Eyes of Sloth on the line. How you doing, man? How's everything going, brother? How's everything fine? It's going very well, very busy and crazy, but uh, yeah, glad to be, have you on the phone and talking. Oh, thank you very much for having me today. So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and the other members of the band that are not with you today, if you don't mind? Uh, sure. we got uh, myself, David Demon Christ, vocalist and founder. we got J.P. Death, uh, the Grim Reaper, Seven String Buzzsaw, and producer of the band. And uh, we are currently actually looking for permanent members. Uh, we have actually fillings coming in for these, the start of the reunion show. So that's where we're at right now. Okay, very good. And how long has, uh, you know, Dying Eyes of Sloth, how's this, how long has this band been together? Uh, Dying Eyes of Sloth has been around since 2006. So, okay, so what got you guys, what got this uh, this band and this project started back in 2006? Um, we've all been very big fans of old school horror movies, death metal. I uh, grew up on death metal. Uh, I've been doing death metal since I was 16 years old. Um... Just needed the right guys in the right time. We all sat down and spoke about, especially me and Jay. Me and Jay have been playing together for over 15 years. And, uh, you know, we've had a school of different projects. Um, and we just one day said, hey, let's uh, let's take a stab at it, see what we can come up with. And uh, we wrote some really cool songs. And we really wanted to, to, to bring something different to the extreme metal scene. Uh, stick to the basics, uh, something more old school, uh, grooving. So, uh, yeah, that, that's where we were at with things. Uh, we put a little demo together, played a few shows, and uh, that was pretty much it. And then we took a little small hiatus for a little bit, you know, due to you know, different lineup changes and stuff like that. And me and Jay dived into uh, some commercial projects and helping other bands out and stuff like that. Uh, doing our promotion company, uh, Morbidian Productions. And uh, about a month ago, uh, we were at a couple of uh, extreme metal shows, and a couple, couple of good friends of ours uh, reached out to us and said, hey man, you know, so what's up with Sloth? Are we ever going to get a reunion of Sloth? And uh, we didn't realize how much respect uh, we've had in the scene for the extreme metal music. Um, Europe's been excellent to us, and uh, Germany, Portugal, we've got a lot of fans all over the place. Uh, Athens, Greece is really uh, is really digging on our stuff right now, and uh, but we just, uh, you know, we, we had no clue that, uh, you know, I guess to an extent we kind of feel like you know a cult, you know, cult status. You know what I mean? I mean that's like the, the best way to put it. Yeah, very cool. So why don't you tell me what's going on? With, and everybody that's going to hear this interview, what's going on with you guys right now and this this show that you have coming up? Uh, well, we're currently in the studio practicing and getting prepared for our first return show back, uh, which will also be our debut uh, soon release for our EP Book of Blood. Uh, we are a part of the East Coast Armageddon Tour featuring Six Feet Under, Jungle Rot, Alexia, Archaic, and uh, another band called Dark Sermon. And uh, that's pretty much where we're at right now. Um, we're writing new material, preparing for a full-length album that should be released in the summer, or the sp spring or summer. Uh, and maybe come out sooner than that because you know, the writing is flowing really, really good between uh, me and Jay. And, uh, uh, we do have a tentative title for it. It's, it's most likely going to be called The Kingdom of Corpses. Um, but for right now, you know, the EP's, the, uh, EP's been going really, really smooth. And, uh, you know, we're just waiting to receive the hard copies and get prepared for this big show with Six Feet and Jungle Rock. And uh, the future's up pretty, pretty bright for us. We've, we've actually been asked to, to travel out, do a little, uh, couple of East Coast shows, uh, Michigan. Uh, we've been asked to go out to... Uh, um, Wisconsin, um, we've been asked to play New York, uh, Connecticut, Pennsylvania. So there's a, there's a lot of things on, on the horizon for Guy and I just walk right now, but uh, we're keeping everything kind of, you know, low key right now and just concentrating on this first show back. Um, like I said, we do have seven musicians right now uh, for this show. Uh, we are currently looking for a permanent bass player and a permanent drummer. Um, there is a, uh, you know, there is a possibility that the original lineup may be getting back together, uh, which the original lineup uh, consisted of uh, uh, Rob Gellner, which uh, on, on drums, the Warhammer, and uh, Jerry Gomez, 
on the on the nocturnal pulse, pulse which is the base and this bag is Odin. So uh, if all goes well, we might get the original lineup back together, but that's all up in the air right now. Uh, but uh, once we find out more what's going on with those guys, uh, we'll keep you guys posted with that. But for right now, the most important thing for us is, is getting past this first show, and we're really looking forward to coming back and, and, and playing for everybody. Uh, we can't thank our fans enough for being there for us. So uh, we actually just started a, uh, a fan, like, I guess you want to say, I wouldn't say a fan page, I would say more like a, uh, like, uh, I guess a, a supporter page called Floss Girls. And I already have about 20 to 30 women worldwide that have sent me photos. They're all not even up yet. Uh, but if you go to our like page on Facebook to see some of them up, I've, we've actually gotten some, some really interesting uh, uh, photos from these young ladies worldwide. we got Beijing, we got Japan, we got Louisiana, so far. I mean, a lot of people have been coming out of the woodwork and really showing their love and support for Diane Isaac Software, and we can't thank them enough. Yeah, I've seen some of those pictures on your on the Facebook page. They're pretty cool, for sure. Oh, thank you, thank you. I mean, a, a lot has happened. I mean, like, you know, another reason why we also took a break, I mean, like, and we're keeping it low-key, uh, you know, I recently just got engaged, and uh, I'm actually, uh, I just also, uh, I, I'm going to make the announcement to you, I thought you might like to know, but uh, my uh, my fiance is six months pregnant, so my son will be here in December. So I mean, Awesome, congratulations, man. Thank you. So it's uh, it's pretty cool, you know. So um, I mean, just, just a lot going on. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you remember DJ Realm, but um, you know, me and Jay also have another project called In Disguise. Oh yes, definitely. You know? So I mean, we're still working on finishing the record, Ash is Divide, right now. Uh, but we took a break from that to concentrate on Sloth. I mean, we're still practicing and stuff. The band is doing really well. Uh, we have a show uh, November 24th opening for Face Morning. So that's the only show on the horizon right now for any guys. Well, well, I have to tell you when you um when you told me about the the dying eyes of sloth and sent me those tracks, I was just totally in, amazed. And it's that style of music that you guys do with that is not necessarily the, the style of music I gravitate to. And when I heard you guys, I was like, oh, my God, these guys are making me a believer in this style of music. I'm sold. <laughs> Thank you very much. I mean, like I said, we, we really try to, to keep things old school. Like, uh, I mean, we're coming from, like, I don't know if you remember Chuck Schoenner, God rest his soul, from Death. He, he, he was the godfather of Death Metal. Uh, Terry Butler and Rick Ross from Massacre, um, Obituary, The Bakery. Um, six feet under, old school cannibal courts. You know, that's, that's where we're like coming from. Uh, you know, Jay's even bringing in a little bit of uh, Bone Nora, um, which is Sam, uh, Cam Lee. I don't know if you know who he is. He's the lead singer of Bone Nora. And uh, we're also even bringing in some really old school stuff like uh, Infernal Majesty, Venom. You know, so I mean, just like really sticking to the roots of old school. And just giving it a modern twist with some groove. Having a lot of stomp in it. Yeah, and I have to tell you too that you know when I because I've been playing your tracks like every show I do, and I'm getting great response from the people in the chat and the listeners. So definitely keep doing it. It's definitely amazing. Oh, oh thank you so much, man. I, I really, really, really appreciate. It. I apologize for the noise. I'm actually, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on a bus. <laughs> That's all good, man. It's all, it, it adds to the ambiance of the interview. That's cool. <laughs> But, uh, but you know, the, the guy, I mean, me, me and Jay are like so excited about the return, and you know, hopefully everything will fall the way it needs to. I mean, right now we've been getting nothing but like really great responses worldwide, and you know, interview after interview, and you know, a tons of, of, of internet radio stations, um, even like extraterrestrial radio stations, like, like bigger stations that get played in our in our state and stuff, and like a lot of people. Awesome. They really, really like. I mean, our biggest supporters right now is the New York Death Militia. I don't know if you know who they are. But I do not. They, they are a coalition, uh, and it is uh, run and owned by uh, Will Romer, the lead singer and bass player from Mortician. I don't know if you've ever heard of Mortician. Yes, I have. Yep. And uh, it's also run by Randall Solomon. Uh, he is also, uh, he was the bassist of a band called Decompose. So, uh, really, really good friends of ours. 
and uh, they're, they're like a really big New York Death Militia has, has been a very big supporter of Dying Isis Lofty since 2006. So, you know, I mean, like, everybody, we just can't thank everybody enough for just been coming around and just, you know, we didn't, like I said, we didn't realize how much respect, you know, Dying Isis Lofty had, and, and we're just like, wow, you know, I mean, I mean, we, we never put Dying Isis Lofty to rest. We just went on a, on a hiatus, and, you know, there was, there was a lot of school of personal stuff that has happened. Um, you know, Jay's, uh, Jay had a death in the family. My second, uh, my second mother, Tiffany, she passed away last year. So, like, things have been, you know, just, just a lot of, a lot of stuff that, that, like, compiled, that kept slow and, and even in disguise from moving forward. And now we're, uh, we're back up and running, man, for both projects. Well, that's good. It's strong perseverance, you know? Yeah, you know, I mean, I even got, a, I got solo stuff that I'm working on too right now called Incognito Theory. I don't know if you remember that. But yeah, yeah, of course I do. I don't, yeah. for, I don't forget any of the stuff you've sent to me, man. <laughs> so I mean, like, there's just so much stuff going on with that, and you know, hopefully something for Incognito Theory new will hopefully come out within the new year too. But right now, the main focus is uh, in disguise, Dying Eyes of Sloth. Uh, but it looks like Dying Eyes of Sloth is 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 pretty much plummeting over everything else, you know what I mean? A lot, yeah. a lot of big, a lot of big national bands have been coming through wanting to work with us. And, you know, I really can't tell you who they are and everything, but, you know, but once we get more stuff going, we'll, we'll definitely keep you posted and everything. Well, I tell you what, that's got to be, uh, I got to be, just got to be an amazing feeling. I mean, here, here you have this, you know, this project that you've kind of had on a hiatus and, all of a sudden, all of the blue, boom, look at what's going on now. Yeah, I mean, it, well, well here's, here's the best thing. Like, well, started in 2006, and we did, like I said, we, we did a couple of shows nationally. We played out the demo and everything, and and uh, we haven't played in, in nearly four years. And just out of the blue, I mean, first show out the gate, you know, and, and I'm going to give a shout out to him because uh, we can't thank him enough. Uh, Anthony from ACI Entertainment. Uh, he's the one who hooked us up with this first show back, opening for Six Feet. So, I mean, really great guy, really great promoter. Uh, there's like tons of great promoters out there, but I mean, Anthony is uh, is amazing. I mean, we did have another show that, that we were going to take on, but, you know, that kind of didn't, didn't come to fruition. But I'm sure eventually uh, it'll, it'll happen. We just decided, you know, you know what, let's just concentrate on this one. And, and because it's, you know, first show back, and to play with five national bands. Right. You know, and I mean, yeah, like, let's see, Six Feet is on Metal Blade, uh, you got Jungle Rod who's on Victory, and, uh, you know, you got uh, Nuclear Blast is involved in this. So, I mean, like, just to have, like, like a chance to, to share the stage, with, especially with our mentors, which are the, our mentors are, are, are Six Feet and Jungle Rod. You know, so, I mean, like, it, it, this is really going to, do so, you know, it's, it's going to be a good time, it's going to be fun, uh, it's been a long time since, since I, I've done this, I mean, like, you know, I've been, we're like in the studio a lot, you know, and I mean, and when you hear the new material, we got three brand new songs that we're breaking out with that night, uh, I'll give you the titles, uh, Beyond Death, Severed Skin, and another song called Darkness Unveiled, I'm sure you've heard the demo up on Facebook maybe once or twice, um, but, uh, yeah, we're just writing in the studio and preparing for this show, and, uh, you know, the sky's the limit, man. You never know what's going to happen here with us uh, walk. Exactly. Very cool. And I wish you guys the best of luck with everything. And I have to ask, is everybody on the bus listening now? Because I noticed they all got quiet. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm actually off the bus now. Oh, okay. <laughs> thought maybe we had an audience. I was hoping, anyways. <laughs> yeah, right. But uh, if anybody wants to learn anything more about Dying Eyes of Swarth, uh, they actually, um, if they want to get tickets for the Six Feet Under show for the East Coast Armageddon tour, all we have to do is go to dionizersloth.com, and there's a PayPal account up there. Uh, anybody who purchases tickets, uh, we're giving them a free digital download of the EP before it's released. Uh, they can go to www.dionizersloth.bandcamp.com, and they can purchase the digital copy for four bucks. Um... We are working on a brand new t-shirt design right now, so we will have merch. We're taking pre-orders for that. Uh, the artwork was done by uh, CRD Entertainment, our buddy Riven out in Indonesia. 
Uh, he actually did uh, Dying Fetus and uh, a couple other uh, big heavy hitters. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the artwork on Facebook, but I mean, it's been posted out and stuff like that. Yeah, the artwork is amazing. Oh, thank you, man. Thank yeah. you very much. But yeah, we're in. We're, we have a lot of things on, on the horizon, so we will definitely keep everybody posted with everything. Okay, and well, and you know, I just. You know, the only thing I the only thing I'm doing is going man I need more music so I cannot wait for uh for that to get out so I can play more of Dying Eyes of Sloth for sure. You will definitely get more. You'll be one of the first that that I get it because you know we you know me and Jay know that you've been one of our big supporters for a while, bro. So oh yeah. So you will get stuff uh, as well as a couple other people that have been really the main people who've been getting our backs are probably going to get stuff before a lot of other people. <laughs> Well, I appreciate that very much because, like, uh, you know, I definitely have been a, a huge fan of you and your bands and your projects for a long time now. And so, yeah, keep the music coming, brother. Keep the music coming. Thank you very much. So, yeah, I appreciate it. I, so I got to know, where did the name of Dying Eyes of Sloth come from? How did you guys come up with that name? Uh, well, I came up with that name, uh, Sloth, being one of the seven deadly sins. So uh, that's how that pretty much came up. I wanted to use the word Sloth, and I was sitting there, and... You know, I'm like, what can I come up with? I want something original. Everybody uses blood in their name or kill or whatever. You know, everybody's got something kind of cliche, and I didn't want to go cliche. I wanted something really unique. And, uh, you know, I looked at Jay, and I, originally we were going to call ourselves Through Dying Eyes, but then I was like, eh, I don't know. And then and then we, and then we had a couple other names pushing around, De La Morte, which is, you know, Day of the Dead. And, and then I was like, you know what, Jay, I got it. And he's like, what? I was like, dying eyes of sloth. And he was like, that's cool, man. <laughs> so yes, it's very metal. Yeah, it rolls off. You know, the, the gentleman who did our logo, he, he's fantastic. His name is Roger Poole. And uh, he's actually still, he still does work for us till this day. So, I mean, we got a lot of artists involved working with us. And, uh, you know, it's just, it, it, it's been crazy this past month. I mean, we, we literally only announced that we were coming back a month ago. And in a matter of a month, we're all over radio stations, all over the place. Uh, you know, I don't know if I can announce many of them. I don't know if you're cool with that. You, know, but you can announce anything you want on here, man. Oh, okay, cool. So, I mean, MMR, Metal Messiah Radio. Yep, yeah, good over. friends of mine. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're, they're spinning us. Um, WSOU is spinning us. Um, we got a couple other stations. Blue Existence Radio, our good friend Oz, and our good friend uh, Allison. Um, they're both part of the, uh, the and New York Death Militia. So the, the, actually, Oz is a, is a chapter president out in Pennsylvania, and um, Allison is in California. So I mean, and then we got a lot of fans out in California. Um, we got uh, one of our big promoters out in California, uh, Pat. She's been spreading us all over the place. So it's been it's been pretty crazy, man. Very good. And if, I, if you can do me a favor, if you can get me in contact with the uh, with the militia chapter guys, that would be cool. Yeah, I definitely, definitely can uh, do that. I can actually send you a, uh, I'll send you a link to, uh, to what, to the main guys page, and then you can actually, uh, I'll give you both of them, and then you can probably post this interview, you know, send the interview out for them, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, that'd be cool, because I guess where I'm going and thinking is I, it would be kind of cool to interview them just to kind of get an, a, a good view of what they're doing and what they're trying to accomplish with all the stuff they do, so yeah, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, they are very big supporters in the extreme metal scene. Really great bunch of guys. Really great team of people, and uh, we can't thank them enough. Yeah, because I tell you what's been happening. The last, it's funny because you, you know, dying eyes of sloth and everything just picking up for you guys last month, and then over the last month. I've been really getting into the extreme metal, which I never was, and now all of a sudden I'm like, oh my god, why have I not been such a fan of this for so for so long? So I'm becoming a huge fan of this, the whole scene itself too. Oh, awesome, dude! That, that's really cool. I'm glad that uh, you know Sloth could uh, pave the way for you. Oh, How about uniqueness, man? That's what it comes down to. Stick to what you want to do, and don't copy anybody, and just be yourself, and and just heavy hitting, grooving music. I mean, we've been, uh, a couple of names been thrown at us. People are calling us the New Jersey Death Macabre. <laughs> um, we've had some people calling us up uh, saying that, that we are the New Jersey Death Stomp. So, I mean, like, it's, it's, uh, it's really, really cool, man. I mean, I just, like, I can't, like, you know, all the, all the nice emails I've been getting from everybody that, like, saying that they're really excited about having us back. So, we're, we're pretty psyched. Yeah, very cool. So, okay, 
So where is the best place for people to go find out more about you guys and hear your stuff? Like your Facebook page? What else do you guys have out there? You can go to www.dionizeofsloth.com. And everything's up there. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. And, uh, yeah, they can find out everything up there. Perfect. Good central location. I like it. Yep. Very good. Okay. Is there anything else that you want to mention? We've covered a lot in a short amount of time. Is there anything else that you want to make sure people know about you guys? I mean, why people should come and see your show? Well, all I have to say is thank you to all our fans and our friends and everybody and our families, everybody who's involved. I want to give a shout out to my, to my best friend, uh, JP Death. Uh, wouldn't be able to do this without you, brother. And uh, just look out for us and uh, watch www.dionizerswap.com and uh, come to our shows. They're going to be... Uh, pretty horrific and fun and uh, watch for the dirt shovel because it stings and if you guys come to Michigan you make sure you tell me please uh, yes if we are coming out to Michigan I actually uh, I need to reach out to uh, Metal Mom she's out in Michigan she runs the Michigan Death Fest yeah so uh, I don't know if you know who she is but yeah, I, I know of her and I'm friends with her on Facebook so yeah yeah she's a really cool person she's a big fan of Diane I just off too so uh, I'm, I'm probably going to be reaching out there so We'll, we'll be making our rounds. There right. will be definitely an, an East. We're talking about an East Coast really soon. Uh, just right now, you know, we're just taking things a little slow. We're going to get past this first show and yep. try to get some new material uh, finished. And, uh, you know, this EP should hold everybody over for just a little while. <laughs> exactly. Um, make make way for a full length because, you know, all I can say is, is Diane Isisorp is back from the dead. I love and it. I'm gone anywhere. Very cool. All right, the last thing I want to ask from you before I let you go is i got to have a couple radio tags from you again, brother. Okay. So the first one, if you can say, you know, this is Dave the Demon Christ from Dying Eyes of Sloth, and you're listening to DJ Rem at Rock Addict Radio. Okay. What's going on, everybody? This is Dave the Demon Christ from Dying Eyes of Sloth, and you're listening to DJ Rem at Rock Addict Radio. Turn it up. Perfect. And then the second one will be just a general station tag. So the same thing, but just leave out DJ Rem, and then I can send that to the other DJs along with your tracks. Because I don't know if I've sent your tracks to them or not, so I need to make sure I do that. All right. This is uh, Dave the Demon Christ with Dying Eyes of Sloth, and you're listening to Rock Attic Radio. Keep it metal. Keep it brutal. Okay. Killer, man. Thanks again for taking time to talk to me. Good luck with your show. Good luck with the uh, the new baby on the way. And, uh, yeah, just best of luck with everything, yeah, brother. Actually, my first one. <laughs> so this is, is going to be a cool ride, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's going to be an interesting ride, all right. <laughs> yeah, you know what, real quick, I want to give a shout-out to, to my future wife, Maria, Mrs. Demon Christ. <laughs> I love you, baby. Thanks for supporting me. Hell yeah, very cool. Yeah, then we take over. <laughs> Got to have that family support, that's for sure. Yep, it is. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate your time, man. Yep, okay, okay. Everybody, Dave the Demon Christ from Dying Eyes of Sloth. There you go. You have it. The interview on rockaddictradio.com.